Oh, five, five. Five, five. Wow, that is amazing. So the mate nine pulled it back there right towards the end, uh, which is nice. And we're still waiting here for iPhone 7 Plus. I don't know uh, what's happening there, but nevertheless, you know, very interesting. You can see uh, the Apple A10 holds its own, you know, it holds its own against the the latest beast here. So you can see we do have a nice summary there. We're just going to do a Geekbench comparison. So we can see the iPhone 7 Plus has finished here with a very nice set of scores, as you can see. And uh, we are still waiting for the Mate 9. Indeed we are. But hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And these have some strange names, these tests, I've got to say. Rigid body physics. What's that when it's at home? End body physics. Gaussian blur. Wow. So they are some nice uh, scores, though, I've got to say. It looks like it's gone up since I last did it. Uh, maybe because obviously Apple continues to update its software when it releases a phone, uh, which is good. And HDR. Oh yeah, so for those who don't know, the uh, processor in the Mate 9 is Kirin 960, same as what you're getting with the new P10 and uh, I think that's based upon the 10 nanometer or is it not it could be something else actually 16 nanometer or something uh, but you can see uh, you are getting a very decent score here on the mate 9 in terms of the multi-core at least uh, iphone still the king though when it comes to your uh, your single core score here which i've always heard is a bit more important uh, so nevertheless, uh, we're just going to have a look here at uh, the Wi-Fi because some people do like to see this. And we're just going to start with the iPhone. And our iPhones over here don't have the best Wi-Fi, so maybe the Mate 9 has a chance here. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so very good uh, performance tonight with the iPhone 7 Plus, really killing it. And let's go. And we're off to a very shaky start here from the Mate 9. Mate 9, what are you doing to me? You know, with that Wi-Fi score, you're shortchanging me. May as well not have 200 megabyte. I mean, seriously. Let's try that again, just for fairness. So what's that all that about? I mean, it's got enough space there for proper antenna. I mean, you could fit a sky satellite in there it's such a big phone and yet it can't can't reach the iphone you know it just can't reach it so props where props is due when it comes to the the iphone 7 here how does this translate into day-to-day -day performance we're going to have a look and see so we're just going to go to somewhere let's uh, go to Apple. So it's going to Apple here. Can we search it? Go. I have cleared the cache on both of them. That's why I'm getting that prompt. Whoops. That was silly. So I'm just going to go to something else now. Let's uh, go to something else. And uh, where can we go to? 
Is it this one? This one looks good. So very similar here in terms of the load, a little bit different animation. And let's try Daily Mail. So it looks like the iPhone's a tad bit quicker there particularly with the keyboard I don't think the Mate 9 has the most responsive display either I mean I just clicked it then and it didn't even respond so let's just try again here so I don't want to go to the Facebook app it's just doing everything in its power to sabotage me let's just try uh, GameSpot good old GameSpot Let's go to game spot. Go. Cool. iPhone again here was the winner there. But the Mate 9 looked like it did actually load the page a bit faster there, but you know it's uh, very close when it's actually loading the pages here. But if you look at the video load there, that was on the iPhone. So I'm probably gonna give it to the iPhone again here. Uh, which is absolutely dominating the Mate 9 in terms of everything pretty much uh, so yeah let's uh, move on to the multitasking here EMUI versus iPhone 7 plus iOS uh, you know the software whatever it is iOS 10.2.1 I think or something it doesn't matter what it is you can see you know it's always going to be very buttery here I mean look at that that uh, every single one is reloaded on the mate 9 I'm not really open that many up this tonight it's just uh, I think less than 15 let's try the games here let's see uh, if we got any comparable performance nice uh, go back straight into it there on the iPhone 7 Plus so I think this is a flawless victory for the iPhone 7 Plus here and I did touch it then but then it you know no uh, no response and it's reloading uh, so you know very conclusive here I think uh, you can see uh, which one is giving the most bang for buck if you are looking at these two because they are similar priced and that's why I'm being quite hard on the Mate 9 uh, you know uh, you've got the OnePlus 3T which gives you comparable performance to the iPhone 7 Plus but won't cost you an arm and a leg uh, so I think uh, yeah you know uh, I think that's all I've got to say really for this one I'll probably do some other comparisons as well and I hope you uh, found it helpful particularly if you own an iPhone <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.